And now we do want to get back to that breaking news here with Ohio's largest school district. We know now from overnight that the school board and the teachers union reached a conceptual agreement. Both sides met for more than 13 hours to reach this deal. And now students have plans to return to the classroom next week. 10 TV's Tino Ramos has been covering this story from the beginning. He's going to walk us through what's next. Tino. Yeah, Tracy, this was kind of a hush meeting that went on. Nobody knew where it was taking place, but this was a marathon session in the Columbus Board of Education as well as the teachers union. They did. They came up with what they're calling a conceptual agreement. But the bottom line with all this is if approved all the way through, well, it could be on Monday that the students will return to in class learning. Now, take a look at this video because you're recognizing this very well here. It's been the past three days that teachers have been on the picket lines. But yesterday, both sides sat down with the federal mediator and hammered out a contract. Now, it wasn't until around 2.30 this morning, nearly 14 hours of continuous negotiations. Both sides reached an agreement. Now, some of the sticking points were classroom sizes, building conditions, and staff. We did get a statement from the Columbus Education Association. Here's what they had to say. At 2.38 this morning, the bargaining team reached a conceptual agreement. We are very excited to bring this to our membership for ratification. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming out and uh, supporting us on our, our, uh, on our picket. And uh, members, check your email. Solidarity. Now the Columbus Education Association they represent some 4,500 school employees within the district, including those teachers. Now we do know that the CEA is recommending that the union members approve this new conceptual contract, at least the agreement that's been reached. And the Board of Education said that they will approve it as well if the union does. The bottom line here is what's next for the parents and students? Well, we do know today and tomorrow the students will learn virtually. But again, this weekend when the union votes on it and if the Board of Education approves it as well, that means on Monday the students will return to in-class learning. Tino Ramos, 10 TV News. All right, now let's get a look at how long it took to come to this point. Columbus City Schools and the Teachers Union started meeting back in March. They met nearly two dozen times since. On August 4th, the Columbus City Schools Board presented the union its final offer. Nearly a week later, on August 10th, the CEA filed an official notice of an intent to strike, and that gave the Columbus Board of Ed 10 days to propose an acceptable counteroffer. The two sides failed to come to an agreement between that time. This past Sunday, the teachers' union voted to strike, and the next day, Columbus teachers began picketing. Well, as Columbus students wake up today, you are still learning online through tomorrow. And we spoke with some students about the challenges they're experiencing with this remote learning. Most of the seniors want to go to college. Exactly. So te teachers help us go to college. But if we don't have, we don't have teachers, we really can't set ourselves up to be a, like excellent to go to college. If like somebody in the future wanted to come to South or like whatever school, like they have more comfort knowing that they have a better learning environment than we did. Nearly 50,000 students in Columbus will be back in the classrooms again at the start of next week. Today, we're expecting more information about the attendance record for CCS in its first day of class. Some parents whose children stayed offline yesterday reached out to us because their kids were marked in attendance. We went to the district for some answers. A spokesperson told us that the student information system automatically marks students as quote, present by default until they are manually marked as absent. Resources will continue to be available for students. In about an hour, all nine Columbus Recreation Centers will open to provide breakfast and lunch to students. Children will be able to use the Wi-Fi to attend their classes virtually. The YMCA of Central Ohio will also open up four of its locations. CCS will provide meals students at, to students at 25 grab-and-go sites. From 11 this morning until 1 in the afternoon, those meals, and meals include lunch for the day and then breakfast for the next day. We have all of the resources for students at 10tv.com slash featured links. Now, it's unclear exactly what is in this deal we've been talking about. We're going to update our 10TV News app and, of course, our website as we get that information.